So I've been using this Kuwat transfer uh, bike rack for Tesla. Well, it's for anything really, but it has a uh, two inch um, like hitch. I don't know, <laughs> not really familiar with the terminology, but I've been enjoying it. Uh, my kid and I have been riding our bike um, for a couple weeks now using it and it's real easy to use. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put it on uh, and it's not that heavy. So let's go ahead and do that. So you don't have to buy one of these tools, but these tools um, do help. And uh, the hitch itself is located in, in here. And so all you do is slip it in there and pop it out. And there is the hitch. That tool makes it easy to, to pop that plastic piece off. So. I'd get it. <laughs> it's like 10 bucks, I think. I'll post the link for um, the, yeah, the, the Amazon link. So this comes with this little lock king, locking thing, I don't know, <laughs> and the pin to keep it in place. There's a hole in here where you run this through and you put the pin on the other side so that it doesn't slide out. So we just have to move it a little bit. All right, and then what you need to do is turn this guy so that there's a device inside that expands to lock it inside the receiver so that it doesn't shift. That's pretty much it. Okay, so now it's up, but then it's uh, the trunk can't close. What's cool with this is um, you press on this pedal and now you can lie it this way. And now the trunk can close. But let's say you have a bike here and you have your trunk open or you want to open your trunk, you can um, further lower it by pressing on the pedal again. I'm trying to do this with one hand. <laughs> Um, and there you go. So now the bikes are like in an angle and you can easily close the trunk and not affect the, um, the bikes on the rack. Okay, so the way this works is it's two bikes and you got to crisscross them. The back bike is the heavier bike and the handlebars to the left and then my bike which is the lighter bike the handlebars to the right um, there's a strap here to hold one tire and then there's this bracket bar thing that holds the front tire in place so it's pretty pretty sturdy um, that's what i was looking for is i don't i didn't want it to wobble too much um, and so this is how it looks like if I were to lower it further. Uh, whoa, it's not hydraulic. So all the weight of your bike will slam down. But um, as you can see, I can open the trunk. Ta-da, and it's out of the way. So I really like that. But we're gonna go for a ride. So the rack, the rack itself, is really nice 
Um, I think for the price and for the feature, like it, it, it weighs like I think 42 pounds, so it's not that heavy. So it's easy to, to remove and attach. Um, and man, like barring the price, like I think what I gain from it is just uh, spending time with my kid. So I can't put a price on that. So now we're able to ride our bikes together. Um, he, he can be off the video games. <laughs> Man, I sound like my dad. <laughs> Cause I am a dad now. Um, so we, we would ride a few times a week and, and that rack allows us to, to ride our bikes um, together. So pretty stoked about that. I'm, I'm happy about that. It's also when it folds, it's compact. So if you saw in the previous video, I posted um, buying the rack. I showed you that I could park my car inside the garage and um, it fits. So I don't really have to remove it every time I, I'm done using it. Um, one thing though, or a couple of things, is that um, there's some weird, uh, what is it called? Like warnings? Not really weird. It is expected because um, I checked the forums and people have shared um, some of these warnings. And um, But the first time I used it, I think there was like a software glitch uh, that <laughs> Uh, disabled the uh, regen braking uh, wow the model Y is heavy without regen braking um, because there's no assistance in slowing down it's like your traditional um, car like you have to brake you have to brake <laughs> like you you have to brake like the, the car has no regen braking so it disabled it it was weird um, but after um, we, we did our ride and went back to the car, it, it sorted itself out. I guess it just needed to reset or something. So um, just be, be aware of that, but it shouldn't do that. It may have just been a, a glitch. One of, the, one of the warnings that it does is um, because the, the rack is next to the sensors in the back bumper, when you're backing up, it thinks that you're about to hit something. So you'll you'll hear some audible tones, warnings and stuff. Um, and through the backup camera, the rack is sort of in the way. So you have to be extra careful um, not to get too close when you're backing up in, in like a parking lot um, because it, it does um, get in, in the way of the view. Not all, like 100%, but it does. So just be aware, be aware of your surroundings as, as usual. Yeah, one thing I, I wish it had um, was another space for a third bike. But actually, it, you can. I could add on an attachment. So I can add um, another platform uh, so, so I could have three bikes. Um, Abby just got a, a Jetson e-bike but it's compact. You could actually fold down the handlebar and it fits in the trunk. So uh, the other night, uh, all of us went for a bike ride. She had her e-bike and my boy had um, his bike and my bike. And then my other son still doesn't know how to ride a bike. Well, he knows how to ride a bike, but with training wheels. So, uh, and he outgrown his bike so um, he just took his scooter. So it's a Razor, it's a foldable one as well. So we were able to fit the e-bike and the scooter in the trunk and it's all good. And, um, and then, uh, you know, the two bikes in the rack and man, this is like, <laughs> it sounds corny, it sounds weird, but like that's like one of my dreams, like to <laughs> ride bike with my family. Uh, is is awesome uh, finally finally <laughs> it took only a Tesla to finally get a hitch and um, be able to, to drag along some bikes and for us to go on a trail and um, just hang out well an hour and a half later it's nighttime uh, we didn't anticipate an incident um, while riding there was a gentleman 
who collapsed and passed out. So we offered some assistance and called 911. Um, and we had to wait for the paramedics. Uh, he was in and out of uh, consciousness, um, but he seemed to be okay when the paramedics arrived, but he was still lying on the ground. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that was uh, interesting. Um, hopefully the guy is doing okay. Um, and shout out to first responders. Thank you. And um, <laughs> my boy got hungry, so we're at Miguel's. I don't know if our bike ride's gonna do anything, but uh, this stuff is good. All right, well, hopefully you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bike. Um. Ow. Something in my eye. Mm. Go ahead, Aiden, I'll catch up.